Hello, KTA Tigers. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Today is Thursday, April 4th, 13th, 2023, and it's going to be a great day at KTA. Here are our announcements for today. It is active April. Still, we're about halfway through active April. Oh, this is a good one. I think lots of people are going to like this. Lots of our challenges have been about getting lots of exercise, lots of activity, um, today's challenge, a different way of being able to be active, right? To prepare for being active, your challenge is to make sleep a priority and go to bed in good time. So if you have a normal bedtime, get to bed by your bedtime. If you don't have a normal bedtime, think about setting a normal bedtime, maybe eight o'clock. I go to bed about eight o'clock every night because I get up so early in the morning, um, nine o'clock maybe, but everybody needs their sleep. So teachers and students think about taking up that challenge and getting a good night's sleep tonight. All right, we, speaking of challenges, we have another challenge and it has been the Family STEM Challenge and I have loved seeing this every day. Tomorrow is the last day to send them in. So you might see some on Monday's announcements if they got sent in on Friday, but we need to get them by Friday, April 14th for your entry to be in the drawing. And then we'll be announcing the winner um, whose name got pulled out of the hat. So um, remember your challenge is to use one piece of paper, create a paper airplane, fly it, take a picture, KTA news at kyrene.org and um, we will feature it on announcements. And so here are some new STEM challenge families. This is my friend Dakota Paris. She is a kindergartner and she made a beautiful um, paper airplane and it is very special. You have to look really close, but if you look really close, her paper airplane kind of has four parts on it. See those four parts there? And each of them is one of the four B's. Isn't that cool? So one is be respectful, be responsible, be safe, and be kind. So very nice design, Dakota. I hope it flew lovely for you. So thank you and your family for taking on that challenge. And what a cute dog you have. I'm so glad that your dog was in the picture. I loved seeing your pet. All right. And here is another um, challenge entry. This is Marcus from Mr. Cisneros's class. Looks like he made a long paper airplane and it looks like it has windows. Kind of looks like an airline like you would ride when you get um, to go on vacation. So very cool design, Marcus. I love it. Thank you. And you are also entered in our um, STEM challenge. Had some other cool STEM things happening. This is Miss Mallon's fourth grade class, and they shared these pictures from their Play Doh and Egg Challenge. So remember, you saw, um, I think Miss Twaits had some um, pictures that she shared, and they did a similar activity where they're in groups, and those are their two materials, and they have to try to make a um, egg tower as high as they can using those materials. So very cool. I'm sure they had fun doing that as well. So thank you fourth grade for that share. And it is time. Thumbs up Thursday. We have lots to share today. So thank you everybody. Um, the, the first one is from Miss Miranda and she wanted to give a shout out to Jordan. She said Jordan has been showing awesome effort in ELA and I appreciate his positive attitude. Wonderful job, Jordan. You have been doing really, really well. We are proud of you too. And next is to Grace. Um, Miss Miranda said that Grace approaches everything with a positive attitude attitude and shows great effort in her work. Wonderful job, Grace. And our next ones are from Miss Holden. She wanted to give a shout out to Andre and she said, I wanted to share that Andre is working so hard in second grade. He always uses his four B's and is a model student. Thank you, Andre, for all of your hard work this year. And then the next shout out from Miss Holden also is, from, is to Saeed. And it said, Saeed came to KTA not speaking any English. He uses an iPad to help translate when he needs help. Saeed is coming so far in his journey of learning English and assimilating to our classroom and country. I am so impressed with his courage and his grit. Awesome, awesome job. And next is Harper. She said that Harper is always using her four Bs. She also does a great job using her whole body listening when the teacher is trying to teach. Thank you, Harper, for always supporting a productive and friendly classroom. Lovely, lovely. Thank you all. Next up, 
we have one more that kind of goes along with Thumbs Up Thursday. So thumbs up to Connor Estes. He is a fifth grader in Miss Bonomo's class. And he was recognized earlier this week at a Kyrene board meeting for being a Kyrene super student. So you can see him there. He got to um, be there with Dr. Lesher, with Miss Bonomo, and um, the board members are there as well. And um, our superintendent, Miss Tenez, is there in that picture. And then some other um, super students from other Kyrene schools that were honored. So Connor, thank you for all you do. Thank you for being a respectful, responsible, safe, and kind student, a citizen, scholar, and friend. Super students are examples of everything we hope a KTA student will be. So you did a lovely job um, at that meeting representing us and um, a great job every day. That's why you were there. So with that, friends, I think we're ready for our moment of inspiration. That is going to be followed by our KTA Tiger Pledge, Pledge of Allegiance, and on with our day of learning. One more reminder before I let you go is um, to please teachers in third, fifth, seventh grade, our odd grades that are um, still working on testing. I will be pulling some students for testing right about now, 745 this morning. So you can send them off to me and we will be working on writing. Wish them luck, tell them to do their best. And then I have one student working on science. So check that email and send them off to me if you have um, any testers for today for makeups. So here is our moment of inspiration and I hope you all have a wonderful day. Go Tigers. Bye everybody.